Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we are on a Roblox British Rail and today we are driving on a semi fast service in the brand new class 222, not 222, 220 Voyager from Leeton to Newhurst. Newhurst. Calling it Marion, Victoria Docks, and Newhurst. Now at the moment we're already running um, a little bit late. Uh, that's because I was setting up the recording software, so we're two minutes late. Let's see if we can um, pull that time back. That is the challenge for today. And just before we um, get on with the, the main bit of the video, I'd like to say thank you very much for um, the support on the recent British Rail videos. Make sure you see them. Uh, I did a few videos on the new update, but they've got really, you know, got a lot of views, got a lot of good support, lots of likes and stuff, so please you know thank you very much for that go watch those videos also make sure you subscribed subscribe to my second channel where I upload daily not daily weekly um, rail clips um, so yeah thank you very much support the channel it's appreciated and um, let's continue our drive so in 220 um, 220022 in the cross country sort of fourth rail livery. I do like the fact that they've got uh, the the logo for British Rail on there. I think that's quite cool. And we are already approaching our first station stop in Merion. So on the this is a semi fast service. So it's regional, it calls basically everywhere. Semi fast which calls at some of the big stations and then in city which only calls at the, the large main stations. Um so we're doing a semi fast Today, um, where is the stopper? It is there. So let's pick up some passengers at Merion, and then while we're here, well, we are um, only a minute late now. We've picked up time. Doesn't look as though too many people are bothered about getting on. I don't know if there's actually anybody on the train at the moment. Passengers should work, but um, if they do, is another question. That's easy, you don't even need to close the doors, just lock them. And um, we can go. Hello? Uh, yeah, now we can go. There's a little bit of the sound, yeah, it sounds um, decent. Pace up. To open the pacer, um, if you do want to play this game yourself, the link no, the link will be uh, in the description below. So if you do want to play it yourself, um, feel free. Mm, this video is not sponsored in any way, but um, yep. Yeah. Let's continue on to Victoria Docks now. So the train itself, I really like it. I think it's a very good model. I think it's the best on Roblox for Voyager. The interior as well is pretty darn realistic. This is the full cross country um, livery, I believe. Um, and I mean, it, 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 it looks stunning, doesn't it? I do really like the look at it. The cab as well. Your driving position is a bit annoying, but I believe it's realistic. You know, you can control this if you want to. Um, but I find it a bit annoying. And then the interactive map, we can have a look. Greens all the way, which is nice to see. Yeah, the cab's nice, the sounds are pretty good as well. Overall, this is a very well modelled train. Um, you get a few liveries, liveries, so you get cross country, you get old Virgin, so Virgin cross country. Um, you get the newer Virgin flowing silk. Uh, you get Avanti plain white, you get the Avanti like ends, and I believe that's it. So the 221, because there's two variations of the Voyager. This is a normal Voyager, and then you have the Super Voyager, um, which can tilt. Uh, I believe on the game all the liveries can make it tilt. But in real life, the cross country super voyages, they don't tilt, they've been turned off because I'm not too sure. Because they can't work with the normal voyages in tilting, if that makes sense. So basically, yeah, they do tilt. 
on the game, which is actually a really cool feature. Something that you know you would you would have thought, ah, they probably won't bother. They don't need to bother really, like yeah. But they've actually put it in, and you know, you gotta really respect that. Approaching Victoria Docks now. There's another one. Hello, friend. So also in the new update was the um, remodelling of the whole Victoria section. So you used to either go left up like past there, up to like Ashdeen and uh, wherever. And now um, you have Victoria Docks and then over there you have um, Vic Victoria Harbour, which I think is where that 156 has come from, yeah. Which is like based off New Haven Marines, so which is kind of like a least used doesn't get many service. Uh, I won't stop at the four car marker. Okay, I could have, but better be safe than sorry. I'll stop at the S car marker instead. Which is just here. We are a minute late still. There you go, we've got some passengers getting on now. There they go, they kind of walk on and then choose a seat. Shame it doesn't get more busy. You can see um, my avatar is in the train because it's sticking out. <laughs> I also like the what they four eight three I think. I don't know, but they're the old um, uh, Isle of Wight nineteen thirty eight tube stock, which is pretty cool. Oh, they both got full interior as well. Damn, that's pretty cool. Stop! <laughs> Stop requesting me. So that is the Victoria Harbour station, you can see it just there. So that goes off up there, and then we curve round to Newhurst. In our Super Voyager. There's another one. Hello. So that's a little yellow signal there. Hopefully, we can get into the station. Okay, there's a red signal there. I think it's gone yellow now. Because there was a bug that basically meant sometimes the signal would stay on red, so you could never enter the station, even if it was clear. It was a bit annoying because it meant you lost all your progress. Um, but today, we've found that and we can get into the station. Oh my god, we're speeding by a little bit. Shh. We pretend that didn't happen. You didn't see that. As we approach Newhurst now. Where this train terminates, so it's, it's not a, too long. What was it? Uh, yeah, it's only about seven minutes, eight minutes of a route. But that's just long enough for a video. So it's a very curved platform, which all the gaps going to be quite big here. There we go. Uh, I might just set it to a route. We'll go ECS to Leeton because it means I can get a, a nice thumbnail picture. Look at that. And in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I would like to say thank you very much for watching this video of us checking out the brand new British Rail Voyager. If you have enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe do all of that. There's a the door closing. Like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, check out my second channel. All the links will be in the description below, including the game which you can play. Um, many thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.